This is the S&P 500 Spider ETF SPY one day reading for March 15th, 2024. It's currently January 19th, 2024, 2.36 p.m. Eastern time. SPY at the time of this reading is $481.43, that's USD. And the shuffle video for the 15th was created on January 8th, 2024, at 7.03 p.m. Eastern time. That's this video here in the corner. So we have a significant price swings throughout the day here on the 15th. Uh, behavior around the high side, there's an important price level highlighted around the high, uh, the, high and, the high and the low are within close proximity to each other. And um, behavior around the lowest low, we have a big move out of oversold territory to the upside. Um, that'll stand out on a one-day chart. I'm advised to trade around a near overbought. Uh, I'm, I'm advised to trade around a easily missed peak that's followed by a decline through multiple support levels. Um, we've also got that unicursal hexagram energy that is important to um, be mindful of. And it looks like the VIX shoots up pretty fast here. Um, there might be a little bit of a decline in the VIX early on, but it looks like we shoot up pretty fast in the VIX um, on the 15th. So be mindful of that. Before we go any further, though, I want to make sure everybody's aware. If you want to get early access to all this information, it comes out roughly like a month ahead of um, where it comes out on the public uh, uh, on public YouTube, allowing for uh, extra planning ability. It's really the only kind of analysis that you can do planning ahead with. But with that said, you can do that so here at our services, SOMetapos. Early access to a post, click here to subscribe. Guys, we're running roughly a 98% average accuracy day after day after day, predicting the, the chart behavior by the hour with highs and lows throughout the day. We've been doing it for years. Just scroll back. 98% average accuracy. 29 bucks a month, 249 for the year, gets you access to all of our public posts on YouTube, way ahead of when they come out on YouTube, allowing you to, to plan ahead. So thank you to everybody that goes ahead and does that. Great way to support the channel. Much appreciation and blessings to all my supporters. Let's get back into it. Okay, so each card going left to right across the screen represents about one hour of time. It's important to understand that not each card's energy will necessarily line up perfectly with one hour of time. So there are some cases where you have to give it plus or minus wiggle room, like an hour on the timing. Most cases that won't even be required, but in the cases where it is, make sure to follow the sequence of events as outlined by the prediction because that'll keep you on track. Um, in the pre-market, we open higher and there's a prominent move higher followed by a full retracement of that move back down. Um, a peak around the open, uh, a near overbought peak or crest that around the open that we sell off from pretty notably through multiple support levels into a low between roughly 10 and 11 o'clock. Um, that's a pretty significant decline off of a peak there. And in the midst of that peak, that's where I would close out of uh, long position um, that I maybe would have opened up here at the end of the day or partially throughout the day yesterday. I, I would close that long position in that peak and open up a short, look to close that short in the midst of the decline off of the peak into a low. Um, remember, there's price swings here, so we'll very likely see the low again, but in the midst of a decline into a low here between 11 and 12, or excuse me, between 10 and 11, I would close that uh, short position for a day trade and you could open up a long position for a day trade as well. Um, there's that truce card once again. It's very likely the same price level not necessarily the case, but it very likely could be. I've seen it so many times in the beginning half of March. Uh, but the best way to know for sure is just visit one of our live uh, our live uh, stock market commentary sessions that we have at 3 p.m. on weekdays. Um, visit us on like March 14th, and we'll probably be talking about whether or not we think that price level will be will actually be that price level with the truce card. There's a big move to the upside to reach that truce card, and it looks like a high for the day somewhere. It's either one or two highs for the day, somewhere between 10 and 12. But if it's one high, it's going to be closer to 12. And then there's a trade opportunity to close out of the long position for a day trade there. And it looks like we see the high and the low again towards the last hour and a half of the day. If you, have a, if you want to do another day trade, it might be riskier than the earlier ones, but in the if you revisit the lows there, and we haven't revisited a high yet, I would say open up a long and close a long around the close when we see that important technical price level. Uh, but this one's probably a little bit more risky than the other ones. Um, see, uh, sharp drop off of a peak or an important technical price level on a one-month scale, minimum. Sharp drop off of that around the close. Well, I'm advised not to chase a rally at the end of the day. There's a sharp drop off of that. Matter of fact, I don't think I would get into a long position here at the end of the day. I don't think I would. Um, there's probably a pretty sharp drop here. And we revisit a support level on the 18th. We'll talk about that in more detail in the reading for the 18th. The whole purpose of the channel is to transmute some of the competitive energy of the stock market into goodwill. We do that by following the rule of karma for the channel. You go to the resources tab of our website, Tarot for Traders, and 5% of the profits from every profitable trade utilizing this information should be donated forward to one of these charities, or pick a charity of your choosing as long as you're paying 5% forward, and then 5% should be sent back to the channel through one of these links. If you're international, you can use Wise or you can use YouTube tips. And that leaves you at 90%. Make sure to spend that 90% out of love. As long as you follow those rules, you follow the rule of karma for the channel, the universe considers you an angel investor. It's going to send it back to you tenfold for following through. That's SPY for the 15th of March. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. As always, make sure to follow that rule of karma. You know where to go. You know what to do. Blessings to all my angel investors. I'll see you guys on the next one.